Hello there. Welcome to Manifestation with Mariam and Bonita. I'm Bonita. Today, we are going to continue our talk on manifesting things, manifesting money, vacations, uh, your dream home. I manifested this entire beautiful 43 acres and my dream house into my life. Um, the person that you want in your life, be it friends, your soulmate, you know, your forever after lover, whatever, someone to have adventures with. <laughs> because interestingly, even though each of those is a separate issue, I want to go on a vacation. I need a pay raise. I need a promotion or a better job. I want, you know, a house. I want you know, nicer wardrobe. I want money. It's all the same because each of those are elements of the life that you are dreaming, that you are creating. It's very different from manifesting planetary healing or, you know, connecting with like, oh, I want to invite unicorns or purple or, you know, laughter into my life. Those things are more connected to like our etheric friends. And it's easier for them to like, just bring them forward. It's also easier for us to manifest because our ego isn't involved. We don't need it. We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want the color purple to show up. We're like, wow, today I've noticed the color purple everywhere I go. It's meaningless, except it makes you happy when it comes through. And it helps you release that self-doubt that like, well, the purple was here. It's just, I noticed it. Yeah, that's manifestation as well. An opportunity that's lying there dormant that you walk by every day, suddenly you're aware of it. That is as much manifestation as when I have seen things literally appear in the air and fall in front of me. It's the same, <laughs> even though it seems pretty different. It's the same. But when we're manifesting things that we want, this comes to our lives that we are dreaming. And that's a different kind of frequency because we need to work on ourselves to make it happen. It's not the releasing self-doubt after it happens. Of, Did that really happen? Is that really a message for me? The answer is always yes. Anytime you ask, is that really for me? The answer is always yes. Again, you might hear birds singing a hundred times in a day, but somewhere in there a bird sings and you go, I feel like I got a message. Then yes, you did. You know, hold on, I'm just <laughs> making myself more comfortable here. It is so cold out today <laughs> here at Silver Lake. And you see like Silver Mountain is completely hidden by the clouds, <laughs> it's, but it's so beautiful. So enough jabbering on my side. How do we make the things we want happen? First, we have to understand the angels, your guides, they don't care about the things in your life. They care about you uh, learning your karmic lessons and growing your soul. So therefore, the things are really only important, as important as they are to you. You know, your soul doesn't care if you're living in a hut or a castle. All your soul cares about is you gave yourself a karmic lesson to learn and that you go as far along with that lesson as you intend to for this life. So if they don't care, then why should we care? <laughs> There's, it's not like you deserve this. Because we know everyone in a mansion doesn't deserve it. And everyone in a hut doesn't deserve it. It's how happy we become. How we learn our lessons in life and find our way back to joy. Something horrible happens. You learn from it. You experience it. You grow with it. And then bit by bit, you release the trauma, the horror, the fear, the pain. And you find your way back to joy. That's how you find yourself, you know, an evolved person. Some lessons may take multiple lifetimes and some lessons can be learned quickly. There's no timeline except what we create for ourselves. So understand it always comes back to 
what we create for ourselves. So if you want money, and I think we all do, you have to first release all of your preconceived notions about money. First of all, money only exists because humans created it. We created it to make our lives easier and now we're enslaved to it. So you have to release all of your thoughts about money. Release all your thoughts that like, for me, I only get money if I earn it. So therefore, like when I manifest, if I wanna manifest money, most of the time what comes to me is work opportunities. I'll say, oh, I need X amount of money. And within 24 hours, I'll get that many clients or, you know, class opportunities or whatever. Um, but if I just want the money, I don't want to have to work for it. I need to get my act in gear. I need to release my preconceived notions as to what is my connection to money. I need to become completely neutral to the concept and completely open to the reality that I get to have all the money I want because it's not even relevant. It's not even real. My soul is real. Money, it's a dream. It's a fantasy. And if you're like, what? Just go and look through the history of all the monies that like, uh, like the Confederate dollar that then overnight was worthless. You know, there were times in the world where the, uh, the government will say, okay, you have one week to cash in this money for the new money, and then the old money is worthless. So money only exists because we dream it. So you can dream as much money as you want. I want you to think about this today, about your connection to money, that driving need, the urgency, the craving. And what you'll also realize is it's not really the money you want. It's what the money can do for you. If you start manifesting the what the money can do for you, what you really want, you'll be amazed how often the means flow in to make it happen. Like if I gave you a million dollars right now, what would you do with it? You'd say, well, I want some security so I don't have to stress about money. So I'm going to invest a certain amount. So what you want is not the money. You want security. You want to not have to worry, how, have to stress. You're like, I want to go to Aruba for a month of just swinging on the hammock. So what you really want is like to be somewhere like exotic, swinging on a hammock, no stress, no worries. I want a house that's my own so I don't have to keep moving every few months from one apartment to another. So you want to be settled with your own home, your own place. Start thinking about what would that look like. I want to know my parents are cared for or my siblings. Are, there are things you want. So it's not the money. Because again, the money is just like the energy to get to them. So once you realize what you really want, the money becomes less relevant in a way. You're like, no, I need the money to get them. Now, there are so many ways you can get them. You can inherit things. You can be given things. You can get work opportunities. There are so many ways to get what you want. So then you realize money is just one way to get what I want. And it's pretty much the easiest way. So therefore, I should have no stress or pressure in manifesting the money. Your job today is to really think about your connection to money because until you release the anxiety or the need or the drive, it will be very difficult for you to manifest money. In fact, you'll start manifesting need, anxiety, and driving impulses as opposed to what you want. Today, think about what is it you really want and think about your relationship to money. Start releasing that. Today, just meditate on, you know what? I don't need to feel anxious about money. My anxiety does not benefit my relationship to money. It's sort of like a social disorder. You know, when you go to a party where you don't know anyone, you're like, oh, I need to initiate conversation with strangers. But once you start talking with people, you're like, oh, 
this is a friendly crowd and now I have a bunch of friends. It's nice. Think about your relationship with money and start releasing anything below the frequency of neutrality, you know, and embrace anything that's just whimsical and joyous. All right. <laughs> have a wonderful day. Tomorrow, we'll start some manifestation exercises. You will love them. We have multiple techniques to bring more money and stuff into your life. So if one doesn't like work well for you, don't worry, we got another one. But if one doesn't work well, that's an opportunity to look into yourself and say, why aren't I connecting with this? Is it because it's just not something I care for? Or is it because it's striking a nerve that I don't want to deal with? Bringing manifestation to stuff means that the complicated people have a lot to work on and the straightforward people have an easier time. <laughs> All right. Have a wonderful day and self-actualize. Bye.